Thanks a lot, Chair. Um, I would like to thank first and foremost Madam Jakobsen for being here and discussing this very important topic. Thank you also to Biliana Borzan, who is doing a great job with uh, the report that deals exactly with this topic. And I'm mentioning you both because I think this is um, a very good example of how our two different institutions can work together to really put the focus on such um, an important topic. Particularly so because food waste, as Biliana was mentioning, is not only a political issue, it is also a moral issue. It is particularly worrying when you see the figures that you mentioned in your report. And if you consider that every European, for example, every year, wastes around 180 kilograms. I mean, it's no joke when we're speaking about this, I would say, important resource. Um, it is interesting that in your report, uh, you claim that the Commission is not combating food waste effectively. You also say that ambition is decreasing, but what I find particularly interesting is that you are not um, pushing for new initiatives, but rather for the proper implementation of the Im initiatives that we have. You mention one particular um, important issue, the need to have more impact assessments um, on initiatives to combat food waste, and if possible, I would like you to expand a bit more on this and how concretely having more impact assessments can actually help us even on the policy level. We were listening to agricultural problems and issues, but it would be interesting to know your point of view on how we can direct our agricultural policy to make sure that we have less produce, which is actually discarded. But apart from the policy aspect, um, how much of the food waste can we also tie to households, not policies? Um, and in this regard, how can EU policies actually raise awareness um, of this great challenge? And the last point, because food donation was mentioned both by you, but also by Biliana um, Borzen. You mentioned the need to remove uh, situations which discourage um, food donations, but concretely what kind of measures um, do you envisage that can actually facilitate food donation in a manner that can make a concrete difference? Thanks a lot once again.